Hey Pisces, welcome to your reading for April 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in and a big thank you goes out to you guys for being so patient with me for these readings. Um, I had wanted to get these last two readings, Aquarius and Pisces, out like a week ago. It just didn't happen. Um, I was super busy and honestly the energies just did, just did not feel right and I didn't want to rush it. Um, and just put it out there just for time. I wanted to, to make sure that the energies felt right so that I was giving you guys a quality reading. Yes, I mean, I'm, what I'm here, I'm doing it for, right? <laughs> but then also, I do, I do want to mention, hold on a second, guys. I do want to mention that your energy um, over the, your season, <laughs> especially with that Mercury retrograde, y'all, I needed some time. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. I needed some time to like recover from that. Because me, for me personally, it was really rough. I know a Pisces, there are Pisces out there that are like, what the hell are y'all talking about? Like, this is fine. But I don't know. Maybe it affected you too. But anyway, anyway, we're here now, April. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, this is a general reading, okay? So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, go ahead and, and email me. My email is in the description box below. Um, I have restructured my description box. I don't have all the readings that I offer there anymore because there was just so much going on in there and I wanted to simplify it. So I took that out. So if you just want information about uh, readings that I offer, the prices and how it works, Go ahead and email me and we'll get you, I'll get you all set up, okay? So I'm doing this the same as I did last month. I'm starting with an oracle card to get the theme of your month from the unicorn oracle, the oracle of the unicorns. And then I'm using the golden universal tarot for the freestyle spread that I normally do for the zodiac readings. Yes? Okay. Also, if you would like to check out any of the options or get some information about how to get an in-person reading with me, because I am going to be, I am in various places throughout the week, uh, just check out the description box below and I'll give you all that information. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. All right, Pisces, let's get to it. Let's see what we've got for your month. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved for April 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Pisces, let's, let's get your theme for the month. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. One more shuffle here. Oops, try that again. All right, Let's see what we got for you, Pisces. April 2019. Best message, please, Spirit. Woo! Oh, all right. Pisces, you got two cards here. <laughs> you got, wow, sanctuary, take time out from the world, spend more time alone, meditate or go on a retreat. All right, check it out, y'all. I'm just going to go ahead and say this. This might be a general collective message, not just for just the Pisces out there, but for those of us that were really affected by this Pisces season or the Mercury in retrograde, this might be a message because this is literally what I was just talking about. I needed time to recover <laughs> from Pisces season before I started doing your reading. And so here we are. Sanctuary. Take time out from the world. Spend more time alone. Meditate or go on a retreat. Um, so what I'm getting with this is that I really feel like there are a lot of revelations or things that you've come to understand. There's a lot of healing that you may have been doing specifically personally um over this time period or maybe even over the month of april so um yeah you're needing time to time to yourself if you need that time for yourself then take it okay and then you also got receive be open to receiving goodness believe you are worthy of abundance a gift is coming to you soon all right so this just feels like maybe the month of april really is a good moment for self-care that makes perfect sense. All right, Pisces. Sun, moon rising, and Venus. 
I mean, maybe your birthday season was really rough or really intense for you. I don't know. Maybe you partied a lot or maybe you just went through a lot. But now, maybe it has something to do with Aries season also. Aries season might be pretty intense for you. So take this time to rest and recover and just focus on receiving, okay? Being open to the universe in bringing you whatever it is you're working on manifesting. All right, Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. All right, I'm going <clears> to <throat> give this one more shuffle. And then we'll see what we've got for you. All right, Pisces. Ooh, my nose is starting to itch now. All the channeling, guys. Boop. All right, Pisces. Overall energy. Let's see what we've got for you here. Starting you off with the King of Pentacles. Uh, could be a Taurus. Uh... Also could be a Virgo or a Capricorn. It doesn't have to be, though. Like, granted, you could have these in your chart. Um, but this is confirming the need for sanctuary, in my opinion. Because to me, this is saying that you've re been really working hard on manifesting your ideal representation. Whether this has to do a uh, representation in your life or of your life. Um, and by representation, I mean what is most authentic to you. Um, grounding that, manifesting that, making it solid. This absolutely could be in finances and career. Maybe you've been doing a lot of work to prepare for some sort of job, opportunity, or offer. Um, maybe you've changed jobs. Maybe you're in a position or a period in your career where you want to change jobs and you're needing to just take some time away to connect with yourself, to figure out what it is you actually want to move forward towards and then being open to receive it because that was the other Oracle card here. Receive, yes? Okay, King of Pentacles. Yeah, look at that. Three of Pentacles. So some of you really are working on a new job or just working diligently in the current job that you have, whether that be self-employment or under an employer. Um, but really working hard on manifesting yourselves, manifesting what's right for you. Six of Swords. Some of you actively are looking to move away from a current job, potentially. And this, wow, the Seven of Wands. Woo! Talk about boundaries. Talk about sanctuary, too. I mean, damn. Okay, Pisces, but this is good. This is actually, I, 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 I'm aware that for some of you, this is probably a really rough situation, potentially, but ultimately, what this is leading you towards, it feels good, okay? Anything's going to have its challenges, especially with this Six of Swords energy, because you're moving from rougher waters and cal to calmer waters. And with, <coughs> excuse me, the Seven of Wands that's underneath the deck right now... Um, you putting boundaries up is keeping any sort of drama or whatnot away. You moving away from this is putting up boundaries, seven of wands, defending yourself, going into some sort of sanctuary, okay? All right. Um, moving forward, getting to the first half of your reading here. Now, I have been saying that this is the first half and second half of your month, but I want to point out that this doesn't have to be that way, okay? If this resonates as just the first half and second half of the reading... Go for it. If it actually does resonate as the first half and second half of your month, go for it. Again, this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Yes? Okay. First set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces. In the first half of your reading, you've got, oh, the devil. <laughs> Maybe potentially Capricorn energy. Um, so you could be dealing with an earth sign here because the king of pentacles did come out. Now, we could be talking about a boss with this King of Pentacles, okay? Um, but I really do see that you're working on releasing yourself from some sort of attachment or some sort of codependency, maybe even just a toxic uh, environment. This could be a relationship. The King of Pentacles could be a husband um, or a wife. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's just and this is just fixed masculine energy. Um, but it does, it can be either gender, male or female. Um, maybe some of you are working on, uh, releasing your attachment to money or some sort of codependency when it comes to money. Maybe 
uh, finally coming out of a mindset of needing to have a certain amount of finances to support maybe a lifestyle that's not realistic or unhealthy. Uh, Three of Pentacles can talk about um, self-mastery. So there really definitely is a, an energy of removing yourself from some sort of toxic or codependent situation or relationship. Okay, the, uh, the devil is coupled with the Page of Swords. Now, communication is key here. But the Page of Swords, yes, the Page of Swords does talk about communication. But it also talks about seeking, okay? Learning, trying to figure something out, gaining intel, right? I feel like at this point in the situation, um, you may just be trying to figure out how you're going to break free from something. Okay? It was a weird sound. Anyway, second set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces. Five of Wands. Conflicts of interest is something that I heard specifically. But this is also uh, inner turmoil, external turmoil. Too many cooks in the kitchen. Um, too many people trying to put their two cents in. I feel like on a career tip or on a, a, a business tip, there's a lot of competition that's actually turning out to be super detrimental because it's not getting you anywhere. It's not getting anybody anywhere. Hmm. Now also this con this inner conflict or this turmoil could be on, on, the, on an inner scale and you're needing to work through that though. Or you are working through it. Five of Wands is coupled with <laughs> Queen of Swords. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's just, I mean, somebody's, I, either you, now this is a, this could be an air sign. All right. So could the Page of Swords. Um, uh, uh, Libra specifically, or just Aquarius and Gemini. But there is an energy of needing to just cut the shit, cut the drama. And I feel like, honestly, Pisces, I feel like this is you. For those of you that are really resonating with working on making some sort of change, I really feel like either this is your energy or this is the energy that you need to adopt from the Queen of Swords. Just say, look, just don't even give in to the drama. Just, just get out of there. Six of Swords. Seven of Wands. I'm not wasting my time with this bullshit. Y'all wanna y'all wanna <laughs> y'all wanna fight like little babies or little kids? You go right ahead, but that's not me. I'm not with it. Okay. Yeah, immature fighting. The devil with the page of swords. Okay. Your challenge in the first half of the reading. Excuse me, guys, my nose is starting to itch because of all this channeling I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> your challenge in the first first half of your reading here, you've got three of wands. So you're you're analyzing your path. I feel like some of you are overanalyzing the situation. Like you've been on a certain path, and you know, that path is shifting, and now some of this this five of wands energy or the um the inner turmoil is about how to proceed forward and I think it's much clearer or much easier to come to a decision than you may be making it out to be, okay? There might be emotions getting involved. I mean, we are talking about Pisces energy, okay? And I don't mean that in a derogatory way. I'm just saying, y'all are Pisces. Water signs, we're emotional. <laughs> the Three of Wands is coupled with the Chariot. Cancerian energy. Um... But your challenge here is to really get down, and this actually may be why you need this sanctuary. The challenge may be getting down to getting yourself balanced and really focusing on what is truly, truly calling to you. What is your true focus? What are you really passionate about? And moving in that direction and not overanalyzing it, okay? Just going for it. Oh, I know what that noise is now. Okay, sorry guys. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's some weird creaking, but it's my roommate's door because her window's open. Okay, anyway. Closing message or potential outcome here in the first half of your reading. You've got the Page of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race. Now, just because 
you may have you may come to a decision here with the chariot and be very passionate very excited about it and really want to move very quickly quickly your advice is to take it one step at a time especially if you're working on getting out of some sort of toxic relationship or toxic uh situation whether that be work related or not like whatever that is for you i understand the fury uh, with with wanting to move forward but your best bet is to take it step by step so not so that you minimize the chances of something going terribly wrong okay knight of pentacles is coupled with <laughs> the knight of wands oh my god that's hilarious that's literally what i was just talking about because the knight of wands is that hasty energy that just wants to go for it you know, take off running, hit the ground running, all that stuff. But okay, so maybe this is talking about, yes, needing to just be patient and calm and take it step by step. But also maybe you're in a position right now where you can start planning for it so that once you do hit the ground, you can hit the ground running, right? Okay. Getting into the second half of your reading here, Pisces, first set of surrounding energies you've got... Two of Pentacles, so being very much in between worlds here, all right. Um, maintaining the balance. Your own internal balance, your own physical, financial balance, okay. Two of Pentacles is coupled with, oh, the Two of Cups. So if you're in a relationship with someone, are they... This is interesting. Uh, um... If you're in a relationship with someone, I feel like this is saying that you need to work on balancing your lives together. There may be too much of a focus on uh, finances and work um, and not enough focus on balancing, keeping the energies balanced between you two. Now, the other thing here is about self-discovery and coming into union or alignment with yourself and bringing your world into balance there. Because I feel like if some of you really are working very hard on coming into union within, um, it might be throwing some of your physical world out of balance, which is okay because you're going through an integration process and your vibration is changing, so which is going to change the reality around you. This absolutely could be why you may want to manifest a different employment opportunity, start your own business, get out of a current job or, or financial situation. Okay. And so... The union within is happening, so you just have to maintain that balance. Yes? Okay. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here. You've got Six of Cups. A soulmate. The past. Nostalgia. Six of Cups is coupled with... Ah, the Two of Swords. There are a lot of twos here. Um, the other thing I was wondering, if you are in a relationship with someone, are they juggling partners or are you juggling partners? Or are you juggling going back and forth between wanting to be with this person or be with someone? Because you do have the Six of Cups here, but I feel like with this Two of Swords, someone refuses to see anything about that. There could be very good reason for that, though, Pisces. Like, there could be very good reason, especially if you had some sort of dealing with this person in this lifetime that was less than desirable, and you don't want to recognize or you don't want to continue to accept or, or entertain the fact that you have this soulmate connection with them. That's perfectly valid. Perfectly valid. I, I kind of feel like someone's trying to make a decision with some sort of soulmate connection or at least is needing to make a decision. But I'm also getting an energy of refusal. Re maybe refusal to reconnect also, okay? Hmm. Okay, uh, the challenge in the second half of your reading here, you've got seven of Penta uh, seven of cups. Excuse me, I was going to say seven of pentacles, but it's actually the seven of cups. Uh, getting through the confusion and the illusion, 
Again, figuring out what it is you truly want, Pisces. And then taking steps towards manifesting that. Seven of Cups is coupled with Four of Wands. Stability, union. If you do want union, you have to figure out what it is that you want. What does that union feel or look like to you? You have to identify that so that you can help the universe manifest it with you, for you. Maybe, maybe there's someone that's been coming back around, like from your past, from your childhood, uh, a past life soulmate relationship, maybe even a twin flame. Who knows? I mean, who, who fucking knows at this point? But maybe there is somebody coming back into your life and they just keep going and coming, going and coming. But that's really only because you haven't really identified what it is you truly desire in a relationship. And yes, Pisces is a mutable sign. So you can kind of throw a mutable sign, to, in my opinion, you can kind of put them anywhere and they'll, they will be successful. They'll find a way to thrive. So unless you really nail down what it is you want, Pisces, I feel like this is always going to be coming back to you, whether it's the same person or similar circumstance. And you don't have to be a Pisces or a mutable sign for that to happen. Um, but that's just what was specifically coming out for someone out there, okay? And your closing message or potential outcome for the second half of your reading here, Pisces, you've got the Six of Pentacles. Balance. Yeah, there is a there is a very strong need for balance here between the Two of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and now the Six of Pentacles. Okay, there is a need, a strong need for balance. But also, the what you're needing is to give to yourself or be willing to receive, which in essence would be giving to yourself, receiving from yourself. But do that. I would say do that with under the guise of giving yourself that which you wish to receive from others, right? And believing that you're worthy of receiving these things, yes? Showing yourself, proving yourself that you're worthy of receiving it by starting in giving it to yourself. Boop, boop, boop. There you go. Six of Pentacles is coupled with the High Priestess. Yes? High Priestess is secrecy, um, divine wisdom, downloads from the universe, okay? Okay. Uh, it also is giving a sort of a sanctuary energy, which was one of the oracle cards that came out for you. So taking some time to yourself, closing off to the outside world for a little bit, working on caring for yourself. Some of you may need to take some time to go and find some shelter or sanctuary to like, you know, lick your wounds a little bit or something like that. If you've had a particularly rough couple of months, year, however that resonates for you. This sanctuary time really also could be a time period in which you are receiving a lot of downloads from the inter, uh, from the universe. You are learning a lot of the major lessons, or at least integrating the lessons, the the lessons that you've been learning, the lessons from the trials and the tests and whatever the rough period that you may have gone through. Okay. All right, Pisces. So there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below. I hope you guys have a great month. Thank you again for being so patient with me. And I look forward to connecting with you again next month for May. Yes? Take care. Mwah! Bye.